All right, guys, here's how to add an image to a 3D object. This is for Nomad Scope 1.76. So first, let's add a box, and we'll make this our screen, our picture, whatever you want to call it. We'll validate it. We'll use the gizmo, and I'll just flatten it so it feels more like a screen. All right, so we have our box, but the resolution is too low, so we need to uh, voxel remesh it at a higher resolution. That way our picture is clean. So we can voxel remesh it. This is just a shortcut for uh, voxel remeshing. So we'll just go really high. We'll do it at like 500. So now our box is 418K, which should be big enough. So the next thing we wanna do is create our paint tool. Uh, I'll just call it pick paint. So go to your paint tool. So click on it again and then hit clone. And we'll just call this pick paint for picture paint. So now we have a new paint tool down here. So we wanna go to these options. So let's go to this one first. We'll go to stroke and we wanna do lock radius. Then we go to alpha and I'm just gonna put this to uh, the default. I'm gonna go down here to rotation and lock the rotation. That way when you uh, paint the picture, it's not trying to move. It'll just go on straight and flat. Fall off. Let's change this to flat. So we'll tap and go to flat. Filter, uh, default, pressure. First we wanna turn off global settings. And then I'll just go to preset for both of these and then tap them both and go flat. So once again, stroke, alpha, uh, default, fall off, filter, and pressure. Just make sure to turn this off. All right, so now we'll go over here to the paint options. And right here, this line, you see the color here. Uh, you wanna keep that white. And then we'll tap here, and then you can add your image. I have some recent images, so I'll just grab one. And then you see a little image here, and also you see this situation up here. So now you can go to your square. I'm gonna make it smaller, because it's gonna, we have to drag it out in order to fill it. Turn off symmetry. So I'm gonna start from the middle and pull it out. Then we have our image. It actually looks a little blurry. Let me see if the size of this makes any difference. Let's see if I make it bigger. Oh yeah, I think I was just making it too small, actually. So you notice that an image is a little dark, but that's only because of the lighting. So you might have to go to lighting, and for example, I'll add a new light and kind of raise the intensity, and it looks a lot better. So if you decide you want your image to be uh, even clearer than this, then first let's just paint everything white again and then go here oops go here multi-res and you can subdivide this makes your uh, mesh super high but your image will be bigger so we'll go back to pick paint make sure we have symmetry off and we'll pull from the middle and you can see it's it's way more clear than it was before the only problem with this is if you're if this is a picture frame or something and you have it in a scene, it's way too big. So I'll show you how to bake this on this rectangle so it's a lot lower. We should be able to drop this down to like a thousand and still have pretty decent details. So the first thing that I would suggest doing, even though I just put it on here, I would just undo that and add a layer. The way that I like to do it is to smooth out this box so that way when we decimate 
it um, it'll decimate lower once we use our round edge brush. So once you have a new layer, you can go ahead and add your image. Okay, so we've added our image on the new layer, but I'm gonna go down to the base and then I'm gonna use the round edge brush. Make sure to check out my tutorial on that um, if you don't have that already. So on the rounded edge brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it along a few times. Okay, that should be good. So now the next step is to clone the box. And let's label one uh, artwork. So artwork is what we'll decimate. Artwork will be our final. Uh, and the only reason I rename it is so I don't get confused because we'll eventually delete the box. So make sure that you're on artwork or whatever you name it as. And now we're going to decimate. Uh, I've turned off reserve painting. Shout out to Procreate FX. It was telling me that I, I don't need this. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully this helps. So we're just going to decimate. You notice the painting gets all fugly. But the box is still looking like a box which is what we need. Um, so that looks pretty good. We, we might be able to get away with 819. So let's go ahead and hide the box uh, just so you can see what it looks like with just the artwork. Uh, just so there's no confusing, sometimes you can tap it and it might accidentally go to the other layer. So here is our uh, what we have now. So we need to uh, bake the high res onto the low res. So we'll go back here. I'm going to turn this back on just so I don't forget later on. So we have UV Auto Unwrap, Unwrap Atlas. And you have all these funny shapes back here. And you go down to Texture Baking. You can turn the resolution all the way up like I have if you want. And then from High Res Box. So that will be baking from the High Res version to the Low Res version. From High Res Box. It'll take a moment. Boom, there we go. So as you can see, it looks pretty funny. Uh, and I had issues with this. I was trying to figure out what it was. And I think it's just because we have layers. So I'm gonna go here. And you see we have our, our layers here. So I'm just gonna merge them down. So now we just have one piece called artwork at 819 vertices, which is pretty good. Uh, as you can see, it's not perfect. But if that's the, you know, if, if you want it really perfect, then you might have to back up a few steps and not bring it all the way down. But if this was like a TV screen in a room or something or a picture, it would be really small. So this would be, you know, this would be pretty good. Uh, to get rid of all this, let's just tap UV. And now we have uh, pretty much the same image, but it's only 819 vertices, which is very small. So now it's usable uh, for other things. But yeah, that's about it. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my Skillshare classes for more tutorials. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.